back this weekend as daylight saving time comes to an end. Yeah, nearly all states observe the semi-annual time change, which also has long served as a safety reminder. 1011's Kirsten Foote joining us with the tips from Lincoln Fire and Rescue. Kirsten. Hey Danielle and Brian, good morning. Gaining an hour of sleep is probably what comes to mind for most of us as daylight saving time comes to an end. But Lincoln Fire and Rescue says it's also a good time to do some routine maintenance in your home like checking your smoke alarms and car carbon monoxide detectors. LFR says most alarms and detectors run off long term batteries now, so making sure they're still working and testing them twice a year during the time change is what can help alert you to a problem before you even know there is one. Working smoke alarms are the number one thing to have in your home so that you have early detection. The smoke um, spreads really quickly and really fast and it gives you just more time to get out and call 911 if there is a fire. Learman says alarms should be on each level of your home and located in a central area outside of the bedrooms. LFR also has a program where you can request a smoke alarm with a long term battery or an alarm for those who are deaf and hard of hearing where a strobe light or bed shakers are used to alert someone of a fire. Danielle. 